Judy, the organizer and creator of Rescue My Space. Welcome to the day two of the three day organizing series. If you haven't watched day one of the organizing series, stop this video right now and watch it now. I'll leave the link below. In today's video, we will be focusing on the closet because our closet is full of space, full of things, and can be overwhelming, which seems like the key word here. Part one, which is today, we'll be focusing on dresses, pants, shorts, skirts, and etc., and bags. But before we begin, make sure you head on over to my blog post, which I have a link below, and print out the three-day organizing series checklist. As I mentioned before, this checklist itemizes the items that you have in your home, lets you know exactly what you have in your home or what you own, and will help you through your organizing journey. So without further ado, let's get into it. Step one, go into your closet and take out all of your dresses, all of your bottoms, and all of your bags. Take them out and place them on the flat surface. This is either the floor or your bed. This will make the decluttering process much easier than just going through each item in your closet. If you haven't already, if you do have any dry cleaned items that are still in the plastic, make sure you remove them immediately. You don't want the chemicals to be marinating in your clothes for too long. Also, if you do still have wire hangers, make sure you gather them together and take them to your dry cleaning. This will prevent them from going into landfills. Step two, go through each item. This is every single item that you have just taken out of your closet and go through them. You can keep them on the hanger. This will make putting back the clothes much easier. Go through each item and ask yourself these questions. When's the last time I wore this? Does it fit my current style? Do I need it? Do I truly love it? And does it make me feel confident? And I can even add one more. Does it fit my body well? So when you ask yourself these questions, it will give you an understanding on how you truly feel for each item in your home and it helps you decipher which item that truly brings value into your life. In order to really truly understand whether these questions really apply to the clothes that you have, make sure you hold each item and fill it. Hold it up so it's in your face and feel the energy it's letting off. If you don't feel love for the item, then it's time to find it another home. For the items that you are donating, which are the stuff that brings no value in your life today, put them in the bag and put them away. We won't be dropping them off to our local charity until tomorrow after we finish day three. For the items you will be throwing away, which are the items that are torn up, worn, or can't be repaired, put these in the bag and discard them ASAP. Now it's time to put your items back into the closet. Wait, let's give our closets a good cleaning. Step four, let's determine which category each clothing will sit in our closets. For example, for this video, I'll use clothes dividers just so you can see where I place them. So once that's done, let's begin with the bottoms. I have two closet rods in my closet and I use the bottom closet rod for my bottom. So what I do is beginning from the left, I hang my skirts. After that, I hang my dresses. Then I hang my shorts or jumpsuits, and then I hang my pants. Step five, I fold all of my jeans and I put them in a bin. Depending on the amount of space you have in your closet, I would always recommend that you fold your jeans rather than hang them. For me, it just looks more pleasing when I do fold my jeans, but it's up to you. The last step is to put away your bags. At this point, you've already deciphered which bag you will be throwing away, keeping, and donating. You can put these bags either on shelves, you can hang them on door hangers, whichever works for you. So in my closet, I put my big bags and my medium bags together on top of the shelf, and then for my more smaller bags or my clutch bags, I keep them in a bin. That's it, you did it again. You just completed day two, but part one of the closet. Now that you've accomplished this goal, make sure that you treat yourself with something delicious. You're halfway complete and the finish line is near. See you tomorrow where we'll be focusing on part two of the closet. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And thank you so very much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.